Um, how do you define AI? I mean, we hear about mm -hmm. generative AI, narrow AI. There must be broad AI if there's narrow AI. Well, can you give me a quick synopsis or give folks a synopsis and then let's go deeper on it? Sure. Uh, so uh, there's really no generally agree upon definition of what AI is. Uh, roughly, I take it to mean something like getting machines to do like sort of engage in processes like thinking and reasoning that sort of, you know, if it, you know, that we do, that humans do, right? Uh, and there's sort of different forms of AI. So the old forms of AI, it's called symbolic AI. And that's just a bunch of, um, you know, you uh, basically say, if something happens, then something happens, you know, um, and that's, uh, you know, using symbols uh, and, and things like that. The new AI is uh, something called machine learning. And machine learning basically learns on its own. You get, get the algorithms to learn on its own. And there, and there are different types very quickly. There's something called supervised learning uh, where you supervise. Uh, that is exactly what it means. So you train the algorithm on certain data and you tell the algorithm which data is correct. And then it learns uh, by you telling it. And then there's something called unsupervised learning where uh, the algorithm just is able to sort the different data into different piles on its own. Um, and what's really interesting is now there's something called deep learning. And deep learning just basically involves uh, this sort of sorting on its own, but in a very complex way. There's a, a huge network of nodes. Um, and because of that, uh, because it, it, you know there, there could be millions and billions of nodes, uh, where it's trying to figure out different things just based on sort of math and algorithm. And, and because of that, it creates something called a black box problem, where even mm. the engineers who are trying to uh, code the thing don't know what's going on. So it's unlike the symbolic AI, where the engineers know exactly what's going on, because they put in the if then, you know, throughout the whole codes. Uh, in this case, the algorithm is doing that. And so the, the you know, even engineers don't know uh, the, you know, what will happen uh, with uh, the algorithm. 